Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be doing an American taste test, so let's get started. First off, I'm going to start with this one and it's a Butterfinger, but this is a dark chocolate Butterfinger, which I've never had before. I love the regular Butterfinger. They're one of my favorite American candy bars. See on the cover there how it just crunches apart? That's what I love about it. There it is. Someone once said to me, why do you like Butterfingers? They're full of peanut butter, but it's crunchy peanut butter. It's all about the texture sometimes for me. Look at that. Beautiful. Let me know in the comments below if you have not had a Butterfinger before. I'm going to break this in half so you can see the filling. Oh, magic. Mmm. Mmm. It's absolutely delicious. The toffee in it just sort of flakes away like magic. And then you've got that gorgeous dark chocolate on the outside. It works well with dark chocolate as well as milk. But I prefer the milk one. But this one is absolutely gorgeous as well. If you haven't had one of these, then do yourselves a favor and try one of these beautiful Nestle chocolates. They are really, really yummy. If you really love toffee stuff, you'd love it. Jalapeno ranch ruffles. Jalapeno is one of those things that I really love in chips. And it's got ranch as well. Ruffles have ridges. And it says on the back here, get your taste buds off the bench and into the game. I really should be saying that in an American accent. Prepare yourselves, this is going to be bad. Get your taste buds off the bench and into the game. That doesn't sound American. <laughs> How hard can an American accent be? For me, very difficult. With Ruffles Jalapeno Ranch Flavor Potato Chips. It's the perfect alley-oop of flavor. What's an alley-oop? Is that made up? It's not a real thing. Alley-oop. Don't know. Every bite has a blast of creamy ranch flavor and a little kick of jalapeno. It's a slam dunk. Sorry. <laughs> Terrible, I know. I can't do accents. More riches, more crunch, more flavor. Yes, please. Oh, have a look in there. Yum. Whoa. Mmm, lots of flavor in it, really tasty. Mmm, oh, here comes a jalapeno. I was about to say, you can't really notice a jalapeno and then it snuck up on me. I really love the creamy flavor in this of the ranch dressing. And then you get that bam of jalapeno that comes and attacks you later and it's really yum. Mmm. Nice and salty and crispy. Mm, mm. That's a really good flavor. Time for a beverage break and today I have a berry soda. Really like the 70s inspired design on the tin here. This one's probably going to be blue. Why did I get this? Oh wow, that is Smurf blue, isn't it? Yep, they've melted them down and put them into this can. Oh, let's hope the blue comes naturally from blueberries, but probably doesn't. It doesn't look like a natural blue, does it? Cheers. No, I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't. I can taste strawberries in it and I can also taste some blueberry in it, but there's a weird underlying <laughs> flavor to it. That's probably the Smurfs complaining, screaming out for help. It's very sweet, but the thing is for me, I just wish that it was a different color. Mm. If you like sweet things, you may like this, but it's just, ugh, it's too blue. It's just okay. Next up, I've got this, and I'm pretty excited about this too, because it's a buttered popcorn flavor, and I love that flavor in the jelly beans. But this one is made by Mike and Ike's. Mike and Ike buttered popcorn flavored chewy candies, first introduced in 2014. I feel like they're copying off Jelly Belly. Oh yes, oh, see they look like jelly beans. Oops, see ya. Oh, they're pretty good. Mm, oh, oh wow. They've really gotten the flavor of the butter popcorn in there. So they are a jelly bean. They're beautiful and soft inside. And on the outside, it's got a crunchy sugar coated coating on it. Lots of flavor in them. They do taste like butter popcorn. Really well done. And I really like the packaging it comes in as well. Time for another beverage break. And this one took me by surprise. I ordered this online and it turned up, it's really big. It's as big as my head. I should have looked at what size it was. I just thought it was gonna be a regular can size. I didn't think I'd be able to lift it and do weights with it. This one is an Arizona drink. I'm hoping it's some sort of an iced tea. It says RX Energy though, so I think I bought an energy drink. Ah, refreshing herbal tonic. What's th that? 
that. What? <laughs> Herbal tonic. Got um, people running around. That's what they have to do to disperse the energy after they've drunk all of this. This is just way too much drink. An invigorating blend of green tea. Oh, okay, it is tea. Tropical and citrus fruits. Ginseng. Root of guarana. Oh, no, this is an energy drink. It's got vitamin A, C, and E. E for energy. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really worried. Oh, it says it's only 99 cents. That's a bargain. There's no way if you got something here, it would cost 99 cents. What color is it going to be? An orangey yellow? Oh, that's, yeah, it is. <laughs> Cheers. It tastes like sweat and orange juice put together. Interesting. <laughs> refreshing but I don't want to drink this much of it I'd be happy with a little glass like this it tastes like a cordial you know how you can't afford real orange juice so you buy some sort of an orange thing and water it down well that's what it tastes like that and a little bit of these athletes on the front they're sweat that's what's gone into this and apparently it's gonna make me really energetic watch out world this is gonna be frightening isn't it mmm but it is quite tasty. I can see why people would like this one. And would I get it again? Probably not, but it's unique. Pop Rocks. This is a two pack of cola and strawberry. So let's try the cola one first. I used to love Pop Rocks when I was a kid, but I don't really eat them now until today. Right, so there they are. Um, you know, no guts, no glory. I'm just gonna have all of this packet in one go. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. Mmm. It's got a nice cola flavor to it. It's not too attacky. I mean, it's weird. It's got a life of its own. How fun of Pop Rocks. I used to love them when I was a kid, but of course these days I just want food I can eat. But as a kid though, I think you'd love these. I'm going to try the strawberry flavor next let me show you the color of this one. They don't have a lot of coloring in there, which is probably good because it feels like you're reading some sort of weird science experiment. One mm. mm. <laughs> jumped down my throat. <laughs> Once it's stopped attacking you, then you can taste the flavour more. And it's got a really lovely sweet strawberry flavour on the back of your palate there. Very, oh, very nice. Yeah, very nice. Oh, the flavours of these Pop Rocks are really beautiful and sweet. They're very, oh, they're very, oh, they're attacky, but not as attacky as I remembered from my childhood. We used to get packets of them and slam them down, then bite down on them. This is a pretty cool, unique candy. Lots of fun. The flavors are really nice. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Have a fantastic week, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.